Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you. Good afternoon, I'm Keenan Smith. Hurricane Michael is nearing landfall and overnight is strengthened to a Category 4 hurricane. Officials say this could be the worst storm they've seen in the panhandle in quite a while. That hurricane stretches more than 400 miles with winds topping 145 miles an hour and a storm surge expected to be as high as 13 feet. More than 375,000 people in Florida were told to evacuate. A Macomb County businessman is now facing a charge of first degree murder. This morning, David Unger of Harrison Township faced a judge through video arraignment. Unger is accused of firing multiple shots that killed 56 year old Mark Sysinski. Authorities say Sysinski and a second man were at Custom Enterprises in Detroit to appraise and secure the property. That's when authorities believe Unger shot Sysinski multiple times, killing him. The other man was also shot, but survived. And here's a map in Plymouth. Chopper 7 over M14 in Beck Road, where a gravel hauler tipped over and lost its load in the center and left eastbound lanes. They were closed while crews cleaned up all that dirt off the highway. No word yet on what caused the rollover or if there were any injuries. And one more warm and muggy day before our temperatures tumble. We're looking at temperatures around 80 for today. Not quite a record, but not far off either. Scattered showers and storms. Some of the storms could be a little gusty in the evening. We'll watch for heavy rain, of course, to fact that we could see some stronger damaging winds and frequent lightning. Now temperatures tonight down into the 50s. This is the beginning of our cooler weather. Falling temperatures tomorrow 50s for the upcoming weekend. Keenan. Thank you very much, Allie. You know, you have multiple chances to win a couple of massive jackpots this week. The Mega Millions came and went unclaimed, and now that jackpot continues to grow. When the numbers are drawn Friday, that jackpot will be worth $548 million. But before that, we have tonight's Powerball. That jackpot sits at a cool $282 million. If you play either of them, good luck. Those are your headlines from 7 Action News. Head to WXYZ.com and download our app for news anytime. I'm Keenan Smith. Have a great day. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you.